Hey guys, welcome to the first segment of R&B Wind Down. Cheers. The question of the day today was why is the Corinne Stephens, aka Superhead, as successful or thriving in America's eyes as Kim Kardashian? So I posted it on my IG. I got some answers, guys. It was very, very interesting. But before we go over those, um, those answers, I want to do a little background story of both of them. So first, let's start with Superhead. Um, if you're a 90s baby like I am, <laughs> if you're a 90s baby, you know Superhead was in all of the videos, okay? Um, she was the gorgeous lady that was in Mystical's video. Um, I believe it was the one Danger. And she kind of tells her story about that, how she wanted to stand out and she took her top off. She's so gorgeous. And she went to be in plenty of videos after that, okay? I mean, the list is endless, okay? Superhead was the IT video vixen in the early 2000s. And um, she had her share of rappers. You know, the, uh, you know, you gotta be reminded, this is back in the early 2000s when hip hop culture was <laughs> chef's kiss. It was the mecca, baby. It was the mecca of black excellence, of black Hollywood, I think it, it, it was the um, pinnacle of what we know as hip hop culture and what made us fall in love with it. But any of your favorite artists that you've heard, Superhead shared her time with. And Superhead, you know, her side of the story was that um, when she was with these men, you couldn't tell that like everyone around knew that they loved her. I'm guessing it was some kind of um, barrier in between on whether or not they public publicly, you know, claimed that. Um, she and Dee was married. So she was married twice. Her first husband was Darius McCreary. We know him from Family Matters. And her second husband was Columbus Short, who is well known for his role in Stump the Yard. Um, Lil Wayne has um, publicly claimed his love for her. And, um, you know, he's, he's she is one of his loves. Um, and she claimed how she'll drop everything for him. Um, I mean, and the list goes on, guys. So, um, anyway, so what she did was she took her experiences and she turned it into a tell all book. This was a bestseller, and she ended up striking a book deal. And I believe she has two books, if I'm not mistaken. And then the second book, you know, she revealed some or whatever. So, this is a girl who, um, especially in the black community, um, she took her. I don't want to say triumph, but she was able to make something out of essentially nothing. Because in a black community, a video vixen, a hoe, somebody known as Superhead, is not really, you know, we don't, you know, our community don't really honor them. Okay? So, um, to this day, um, according to Google, she is, she works, she's worth four million. I'm pretty sure she may be worth more than that. Um, I, you know, um, don't know. Okay, so that's Corinne Stephens, and um, let's do a little bit about Kim K. I want to focus more on what Kim K started from to where she is now because, you know, we know all of that about her. Um, Kim K, a lot of people feel like, um, or a lot of people is under the impression that Kim Kardashian started as Paris Hilton's friend, but um, she was actually Paris Hilton's assistant. So Kim K actually had an organizing company in which Paris was her client and they became very close during that exchange. And then she went, her and her sisters went to open a store called Dash. And then from there is when um, they started keeping up with the Kardashians. Now in between that is when the, the sex tape, I was about to say mixtape. <laughs> when she dropped the mixtape. <laughs> but within that time is when um, the sex tape was leaked. Supposedly, she, um, I believe she was, she got some type of accolade last year. Um, I think um, most fashionable person or something like that. However, she is actually smart if you ask me because she aligned with men that was in that industry, AKA Kanye West. So um, by her being with Kanye West, I believe it helped, um, uh, it helped her rise with her status as being in the fashion industry because she had a man who was um, very affluent and you know he was on top of the fashion game if you know about Yeezy, the Yeezy line. 
So yeah, so um, that's where she started from. That's where she is now. Um, which brings me to the sex tape topic, okay? So Ray J was um, actually in the middle or was debating on signing a deal to have the sex tape go public because he thought that this was gonna be a way for him to get some type of status and get some type of fame off of it. So he actually got some advice from Superhead, which is his ex, which is Corinne Stephens, who we were talking about earlier in the video and current Stephens pretty much told him you're not going to get any money off the six off the sex tape um being black in this industry it's not going to look good on you however kim k kim kardashian would be the you know she would get the better end of the deal because she is able to she has the platform uh, scratch that um i want to be polite <laughs> so she was pretty much saying how um, Kim K would be the one to benefit from it. And um, her husband, Karen, was actually right. Kim K was at um, her, her mother, supposedly, allegedly, um, signed the deal to make the sex tape go public. In which then they ended up striking a deal to do Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And it went that way, okay? My question really wasn't more so of um, why isn't she as, as, as famous? My question really is if Kim K was a black woman would she be able to turn this um type of fame around for her outside of being a hip-hop artist but usually um women in hip-hop are able to be sexual and be successful but they are absolutely bullied and talked about and um just utterly done um not not as as much respect as their male count counterparts does that is as sexual as well so let's turn to the answers and let's see what people have to say which was pretty it was interesting but you know it wasn't a surprise okay guys stay tuned for part two where we go over the answers to the question of the day